Hey everybody, I'm going to do a painting today, try and get some more bright colors because my dad has been complaining that all of my colors are too muted and they're all starting to look alike. And I said, well, everyone's a critic, you know, but <laughs> so I showed him um, the painting I did yesterday and he was much happier with that one. This is... This is the one I did in the live video, and it turned out really cool. And this wood um, sucks up that paint like a sponge. Um, the painting from my 200th pour, the big circle, um, that has a very about this much of a little warp right in the middle. Um, it is not noticeable. I only noticed it because I set it on flat ground and it wobbled a little. That's the only way I could tell. Um, so I'll see what it does. Um, obviously the wood is quite porous, so I will see how those, I'm going to wait a while to, for those, um, before I varnish either of those. Um, and they each had a bunch of coatings of gesso. So now I'm thinking maybe I will do primer and gesso. Just to, um, cause the primer I have, uh, it's like the waterproof primer. So we'll see. So this pour, I think I will do a mallet because I haven't done that in a while. All of these colors I just mixed up. The orange is metallic, uh, Artist Loft metallic orange mixed with Artist Loft lemon yellow and white. This is Grumbacher, um, um, why am I blanking on my favorite color? Magenta mixed with Artist Loft lemon yellow, which pretty much didn't change it too much. This is phthalo green mixed with mint, mixed with lemon, uh, yellow, green, whatever. So all of those are mixed with this. Um, this is Artist Loft Metallic Purple mixed with white. This is Artist Loft Metallic Blue mixed with Craft Smart Denim. And I, I may have added a touch of white to that one. So, I, so they're all, it'll be interesting because those three will each have yellow in it. Um, and orange and purple usually are not friends, but this is pretty light. So we'll see, we'll see if they stay friendly or not. And those are mixed with Floetrol and water. So, Floetrol, and then my white paint is um, Dutch Boy. And as usual, on the on those interwebs, there's always the my white house paint or my white paint always cracks, and I don't know if mine is just an anomaly or if my house has magical um, white non cracking paint quality, whatever it is, but mine never cracks on me. The only time as I said, I've ever had trouble was recently with the hairdryer. And that was because I was an idiot. <laughs> had nothing to do with the paint that time. Um, and this is really, effort. I didn't bother to wash it yesterday after I poured. Oftentimes I do that, I'm like, it's at night and I'm, you know. So I'm just spreading this out. It's been a long time since I painted on a brand new canvas. I've been using a lot of uh, painted over ones. So hopefully this one will be good to me. So as you guys, some of you know, my son has been in Israel. And 
It is Thursday. What day is it? It is Thursday. Until I go back to work on Monday, I'm still not going to know what day it is. Um, so they left our time like 5 p.m. tonight, today, something like that. But um, all of the airports on the East Coast, they're flying into Newark and are closed. You know, all those flights out are canceled. And, you know, they've got like almost 40 kids and three chaperones. And so they've had to be busy working on contingency plans. So, so far they've got it where they have chartered a bus from Newark to where I live in the Midwest um, with two bus drivers so that the bus can be driven 24 seven. Um, and it's at least a 24 hour drive. So these kids, I, they, they're gonna know each other. Well, hopefully not literally inside and out, but uh, cause there are chaperones, but um, I can't believe I just said that. Oh my God. So, um, They'll have been, uh, you know, traveling there. Then they've been there for 10 days with each other. And then the flight back is, you know, 12 hours. And then they'll be on a bus with each other for another 24 hours. I mean, it's a good thing they like each other. Um, and thank God for, for the wonderful chaperones. <laughs> who are probably like, oh, this is, we, we did not bargain for this. But um, it's an amazing group of people. But as I, as I said, you know, so today's Thursday and here, you know, they woke up today, they showered, they changed their underwear, they brushed their teeth. They will not shower or change their clothes or their underwear or anything for like, what, 48 hours, you know, something like that. <laughs> oh my God, see, these are things I think about. You know, my first thought was, oh my gosh, they'll be in the same underwear Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. <laughs> so, you know, that's the way my mind works. I'm weird. So I'm going to torch this to get any of those pesky air bubbles out. And I should say this is a, um, what size is this? Let me look at the thing. It's either 20 or, what is this? 12 by 24 inch canvas. Hopefully it goes well, because as I said, I've just been liking pouring on, um, on circles lately. Oops, I'm just gonna let me fill this little white one up, then I'm gonna close the big one. Oops. Or spill a whole bunch. What is right there? There is something. Oh, by the way, let me hang up. These are the um, skewers I just got from Amazon. So it says bamboo, bamboo skewer, 18 centimeters, 200 pieces. So that's those. And then I got another shipment. I love these gloves, medium, nitrile, powder free. And then I just bought a bunch of the little sawtooth hangers with screws instead of nails. So I have not opened those up, so I can't vouch for quality of those. But there appears to be like 3,000 in here. Let's see, how many are actually in here? 150. And I think it was seven bucks maybe. So way cheaper than you can get locally at a store. And the skewers I want. Oh my gosh, I, I'm going to say between $8 and $11. Because 
Because I bought a lot, I bought like vacuum bags and all sorts of other interesting items. So, but I want to say those were between eight and 11. Because I can't find my vacuum bags locally. Gotta go to Amazon. I do love my vacuum though. I've learned to take it apart and put it back together because it always gets broken somehow. It used to take me forever to figure that out and now I can do it in just like 10 minutes flat. The first time my husband and I did it, we had like parts all over the family room. <laughs> and we're like, now what goes where? I don't remember seeing this part. See, and if you're tuning in for the first time and you're like, what's this crazy lady doing talking about vacuums? Well, that's kind of how I play. It's a little bit of painting, a little bit of therapy, a little escape from the world. That's pretty much what this is. Therapy for me, some of you have said it's quite relaxing and therapy for you as well. But yet nobody has paid their damn therapy bill. Hello. <laughs> it's $150 per video. Thank you very much. And I don't do HMOs. All right. All that insurance talk makes you want to smack some. So currently these colors to me look putrid. Um, I am not happy with them at all. I... I'm not quite sure which color I am hating, but they don't go well together. So um, with that, I'm going to smack it and see if I can make it better. see the orange on that. Oh, shit. Crap. Well, that one went everywhere. I didn't even get it. Well, at least it didn't go in any... Oh, it went a little bit into the white. But let me mop that up a sec so that I don't continue to put my foot in it. So this does not look anything how I wanted it to. But I do have by me this little dispenser bottle that people have like, you should use that instead of blowing and hyperventilating. So let's see if it does anything. Oh, look at that. Ha ha ha. I just had a conversation on YouTube with one of you ladies who knew my hatred of Walmart that said I should use these. And right now I can't remember who it is. But I'm using it and thank you because so far that's way awesome. I mean it is getting everywhere but like way everywhere. Oh, you know what? I bet. Oh my gosh I just got my hair staticked everywhere. It's so dry here. Um... I wonder if I put it in here, uh, maybe it will stay more in, yeah, it's staying into the um, pan more. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> All right, so if, warning, if you use a squeeze bottle, it is more powerful than a straw, your breath, or um, a hair dryer. 
and I am just going to town currently just because I'm having fun and I really don't know how this paint is going to settle like currently it just looks like a hideous mess but you don't even know how much fun I'm having it's awesome um, let me just torch it to get the air bubbles out before I figure out what I got going on. Because there are air bubbles galore. Alrighty, I am going to pick this back up and put it back on. And these... Um, I just bought, oh, let me press this here. I just bought these new ones. These are my bars. Um, let's see what the SKU says. The SKU says John Sterling. Oh, bummer. Let's see, there's paint on it. John Sterling 0098-36WT. I think this is, um, 34 inches. And uh, I think was like three ninety five at Menards. Um, it's used as uh, shelving, um, but super super stable. And they are, as you can tell, they are half. They're half curved, so they sit nice and flat. If you can't find these, I forever used um, yardsticks. And those are like, oh, as I was holding that, I must have been tilting it. But yardsticks cost usually 99 cents at the hardware store. So, yeah, and yardsticks are pretty stable. Because um, I was using mine for like six months every day, hammering everything on them. So yardsticks are, if you can't find these, yardsticks are really good. Um, but like all of them, if you're not wiping them off, they do collect and then then you're stuck with uneven bars, just like gymnastics. Yeah, that's so funny. Um, so that's why I ended up buying new ones yesterday because mine were so bad I couldn't even um, scrape the paint off anymore. They were just too far gone. So I'm kind of trying to tilt, oh shoot, I was so focused right here that this side just went off the deep end. See that's what I get, too busy talking. And then I also saw something in here. I wonder if I could use that squeeze bottle to soak up this stuff. So this just, this is, I, mm, I'm undecided so far. I don't know. So far, this is my favorite part, this green part right here. That's my favorite so far. lose more of that. I'm going to see if I can soak up any with a pipette. I don't think I'll be able to soak up enough though. But we'll see. More than I thought. Oh, there's a lot of paint there too. Somehow I want to get this over there and this over here. 
only I could rip the canvas. This is not going to work perfect. I'm probably going to lose the green that I love. Shoot, and it is ah, sliding away from me. It's the problem with these new bars. They haven't built up all of their, their grit. Oh, I hope I haven't lost it. Sort of. Man, these are slippery. Not even sure if I even like this. Because it's very, very chaotic. If I wipe this though, it's not because the paint didn't do what I want, it's because um because the paint's behaving just fine. <laughs> I just don't think personally I like this look. Hmm. Wonder if I could save it. You know, I said I wasn't going to use this, but maybe if I use it really quickly. Let's see. It's on cool. Oh my gosh, I, ah. Uh. Nope, there's not enough paint in here to move it. So, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. You're making a new flip cut. I'm not putting purple in it though because I just did add a lot of the orange and like I said, they don't play well. Let's just do it right on top. Sorry, Dad. I tried to make it colorful. <laughs> I 
Mm, this is neat though. With the movement. I like the movement. Oh, that's a big old bold spot right here. Okay, I'm kind of really totally loving this. These swirls are amazing. This is very cool. And then I still have, you know, this and these areas that contrast with the other. Um, there are a lot of cells that are popping up. I can see already. Oh, by the way, there is no silicone in this pour. <laughs> I forgot to mention that. No silicone. I was going to see if I can get that part to go down a little bit. I don't like the way it looks like a heart. of a weather map of like the storm that's not allowing my son to get home. <laughs> Just means I have one more day left to make his bed. I washed his sheets two weeks ago and they're still sitting there. Okay. is very, very cool. It's, ah, I'm stuck in the couch. Let me lift it up. The movement right there in the middle is really neat. So thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and have a great day. Bye.